Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of Dawn and Demons, which is an expansion to the board game Rise of the Necromancers by Sore Loser Games. If you want to see my review of the core game, just click the link in the description below or just click the I in the corner of this video and that will take you there. And this is an expansion that adds a solo mode, a co-op mode and some new enemies and new demons that the evil necromancers can use to uh, overthrow their enemies and to win the game. So you can also play this uh, competitively like the base game. So let's quickly open up the box and see what's inside. All right, so this is the box. It's a slightly smaller box than the core game. Has some cool art on the cover, Rise of the Necromancers, Dawn and Demons. And on the back, of the box we see the miniatures that are in this box uh, some of the artwork some of the cards and the tokens that you get the con uh, contents of the box are listed here and it says here it's for one to five players you can play this solo it's 13 and up which plays in about an hour to two hours and uh, it has a little bit of a description of what it brings to the game here as well so let's quickly open it up and see what's inside Okay, so first of all, we have a punch board with uh, some of these tokens, the forces of the light, and some of these tokens, and they are all double-sided. Pretty cool with the bones on that. So we have those, then we have another punch board with the high priest and these demon tokens and these griffin tokens. And they are also double-sided and on the back you have these skulls and these uh, symbols here so that is pretty nice then we have the evil rule book for the expansion there seems to be a revision here on for several pages three pages I have a little bit of an errata and otherwise you know this is all Laid out pretty clearly, we got the contents of the game, introduction, the setup of the game, and how you play the game with this expansion, with these demons and the new cards, how to play it cooperatively or solo, where you play against the forces of light, which is pretty cool. Always nice to have that option added to your game. The Archbishop, some guidelines even. So, player versus player as well. And that is it. So I'll just put this in here. Right, so then we have the insert with the minis and the cards. I'll just take that off. I'll take a look at the cards first. So here we have the bigger cards of the demons. Let me just bring that into focus here. So we've got the Demon of Decay, really cool artwork by Mood Studios. And you can level them up by placing your tokens here, I guess. And it has increased attacks when you level up the Demon. And these are all uh, thicker cardboard uh, plates, how you call it, <laughs> uh, tiles technically. And they're pretty sturdy. So here is the Demon of Blood. Also with the leveling up there and uh, its special ability listed there. The Demon of Mist. And the Demon of Bone. So for each of the four academies in the core game, there's a new demon. Now let's see, we have some cards here. So let's take a look at these. We've got some new quests for the dungeons, which you see on the back with this icon of the gate. So Demon's Gate quest and the Holy Ground quest. And I think that's where these tokens we saw earlier come into play. There's a city trader, which you can find in the dungeon Orb of Dusk. That is something you can craft. 
So these three are dungeon cards. I'll put those separately. Then we have these uh, crafted items. You can actually craft an imp. So like a familiar, an armor, demon hide, uh, a witch tome, scepter of domination, demonic manipulation, which is a spell. So then we have these spell cards, new spells added to the game. And you always have uh, four of those here. And you can upgrade to the third level. So if you have three of these, you have an increased ability here. So it gets better every time. So yeah, there's a fourth. Then we have the Maimed King, which is a Necromancer. So you also get new Necromancer cards, which is cool. The Twisted Queen. And a Bureaucrat, so you also get new uh, minions. Well, this is actually a Necromancer <laughs> for co-op and solo mode. Okay, cool. Then we have the uh, Soul Eater. Also nice artwork. The Reckless Cupbearer. Here is the Apprentice. So uh, it has an A on the back. The Cursed Jester. There's uh, an Academy Headmaster. So that's new. So let's see, we have this one. So that card is new. So that is the Academy of Demonology, which is added in this expansion. And then we have some demonology items that you can craft. Also pretty cool, Broken Skull, Tome of Anguish, The Lost Arts of Demonology. Again, <laughs> Demonic Remains, Door to the Beyond, so all of these, Infernal Cesspit, Tapestry of Doom. So all of those are new cards with uh, the demon demonology trait. So we've got some dungeon cards, some uh, spell cards, well, what that is, it's spells, right? Yeah, spells and crafted items for this new school of magic, necromancy. And then we have the forces of light. So we have these new cards, a nice back, golden sheen to it. Not actually gold, it's just printed on, but it does look like it. <laughs> and uh, so we have the forces of light. There's plenty of cards of those. And then we have the griffin here, enlightenment. So we have those, we have Purge, and that's it. So we have these three types of cards, which come into play if you use the Forces of Light in this expansion. So this is just a, a little insert that you can take out, because if you sleeve your cards, it's going to take up more space. So this is actually pretty clever. This is the first time I've seen this, that when you sleeve all of it, you'll need more room. And they actually did that really nicely. So kudos for that. And then we've got the uh, the miniatures. Let's see if there's nothing underneath. There is not. I'm just making sure. So let's start with the Archbishop. So there we go. Which is a nice miniature. They are cast in a dark gray, harder plastic. Yeah, it doesn't give that much. So that's good. That looks pretty detailed. It's uh, old Archbishop. Let's see if I can bring it any closer but I think this is as sharp as I can get it but yeah looks pretty good plenty of detail more detail than the ones in the core game because those were basically pawns every necromancer was the same just in a different color and for this expansion uh, they went a bit further <laughs> they they actually did uh, really cool sculpts, really good looking sculpts. So that is the Archbishop and then we have the four demons. So let's again, let's see which one is the Demon of Decay. That's this one. So the Demon of Decay, which is a pretty big model. Really nice looking. It's got uh, three sets of arms. There's actually a stump there. <laughs> decay and it's carrying this huge bell on a chain 
looks nice and gruesome so yeah pretty good decent detail I think it's uh, pre-assembled you can see some of the lines where it was disassembled assembled but it is not um, too obvious so yeah that's the first demon then we've got the demon of blood which is this one here which looks very malicious with that big rib cage which actually seems to have nails on the end of the ribs which is pretty cool the big mouth there it's kind of like an open maw round and uh, you know the big claws the huge sword that it's wielding looks nice and uh, there's a little bit of sculpting on the base as well a large tail with spikes along the ridge so that's pretty cool nice looking miniature and then we have the demon of mists which is this one here it's a ghostly uh, ghostly demon that also looks really nice most of it is just you know these billowing um, clothes I guess the ghostly uh, dress <laughs> and uh, the top part is uh, more demon like with the spines the spikes on the spine and the long hair and the big you know to the grin and the skeletal fingers so that looks pretty cool the demon of mist and then finally we have the demon of bone which is this fellow here with the two heads and three arms so like a bone golem cobbled together by a by a necromancer perhaps summoned from the underworld a demon that takes the shape of whatever dead material it can find apparently so uh, that looks pretty cool it's also you know like mummified and it's got some armor on and it's got some uh, a necklace some gold there's actually a rib jutting out there so also pretty cool two of these big you know skeletal faces demon skulls there's some detailing here as well on the uh, on the arm guards pretty nice so yeah those are all the demons and the archbishop and all the cards in the expansion dawn and demons so here's a quick reboxing with all the cards sleeved and the tokens punched so i put all of these griffin tokens in the left slot here and all these uh, forces of light tokens on the right and all the rest of the tokens I put here along with the Archbishop and these three special tokens so those all easily fit in those recesses here so then all the cards are sleeved and I sleeved them with just one pack of uh, Percival sleeves by uh, Paladin which is a premium type of sleeve and you only need one pack of those cards to sleeve the entire expansion and that will be plenty to uh let's see where is the top the top is over here so yeah see as you can see there's plenty of room for sleeve cards they fit nicely and then you can put this on top and also i just wanted to show you here that uh this miniature and this is one of the core game is of course smaller because these were basically just pawns or tokens uh but they are actually uh of quite the same quality these are better than i remind remembered them to be actually this does seem to have a little bit more detail uh but these are pretty good as well but there is a size difference they look really good next to the to the demons of course they they just make the demons look very big and, and imposing which is cool and uh, well it's just the archbishop is a uh, larger so i'm kind of hoping that in the future if this game gets enough support that sore loser games will release a set of five new necromancer 
uh, miniatures, five different ones, preferably in this scale. So that would be cool. So check them out. Uh, you can find them on Facebook and uh, I'll uh, put a link in the description below so you can visit, visit them and their official website as well. And that is it. So that was my unboxing video for Dawn and Demons, the expansion for Rise of the Necromancers by Sore Loser Games. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll also get notified whenever I upload a new video. Please also consider becoming a Patreon saint to my channel by clicking the Patreon link in the description below or the icon at the end of this video. It's greatly appreciated and helps me continue making videos for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven. Thank you.